Hello, hello. Welcome to CH Budget Brews. I'm Tim. Tonight I'm joined by Deke and Scott. Say hello, Deke. Say hello, Scott. Howdy, everyone. Hello. Uh, and tonight we are going to be working on a Krark and Thrasios. This is a high tide list, Deke? Yeah. Is yep, or is it just, uh, just an excuse to call it coins? High Life? That was like the first. Uh, name that popped into my head but yeah it's it's pretty high tide focus it's a manual okay. storm deck right. can storm out without high tide just fine but uh but it's more fun that way oh yeah hitting too high tide is great yeah so what's so the overarching plan is to resolve a high tide make a bunch of mana um and then do breach lines yeah so the the best way to put it is so it's it relies on Krark quite a bit and the nice thing about him is uh um he uses cards that give you a benefit even if you fail your coin flips. So okay. any free spells like Gutshot or, or Submerge or whatever. Um, and then cards like Song of Creation or possibly Storm or Aetherflux Reservoir still get a trigger if you return the card to your hand. Oh, um, nice. So okay. like, you, Song fast. of Creation, you can play Gutshot. You'll draw two cards. You might lose the flip. It'll go back to your hand. You just do it again. You draw more cards. Um, and things get uh, pretty nutty. And that helps up Storm Count for stuff like uh, Mind's Desire. And Aetherflux Reservoir, I see. Okay. Yep, yep. And you can do some interesting things with like stacking uh, the triggers. So you could um, put the Krark trigger on top of the Aetherflux trigger. Mm -hmm. So in that same gut shot scenario, you can gut shot, bounce it, respond to the Aetherflux trigger by playing gut shot again. And again, yeah. Keep going that way. Yep. Oh, I remember those days with, uh, with when we played Parad P Engine and Scepter and Fishbowl. Use lasers yep, down. Yep. I used to laser Scott down with fishbowl all the time, right, Scott? <laughs> no, no, you were a bad player back then when all those were <laughs> unbanned. Oh, I don't, I don't think you ever won. No, yeah, I, I, I remember fishbowl on you at least a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, asshole. No, no, I was playing Tassiger with Aetherflux in there. No, but when I switched yeah. over to TNT, I went a little better. Yeah, that's true. Those Halcyon days of TNT with Paradox Engine. Yeah, those were those were the good old days of that. Back when Flash and all that. So, alright, so outside of the obvious stuff, um, so we do Breach, and then we got some Dockside yep, Bounce breach, spells. Breach. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, I should point out, like, the, the general building philosophy of the deck is that, um, any one CMC cantrips are just value with Krark because on average you're drawing two cards for one and a half mana. Feels yep. weird to say that, but that, that's what it averages out to. Right. That's a really good deal. Um, and, and things like mana morphos becomes mana positive. So anything in that two range that isn't like a payoff spell or like two or three mana, um, you don't want to run. So you want either like big mana payoff or low mana cantrip kind of spells as well. Gotcha. Or like a spell that, that is playing this list is Snap, because that untaps mm -hmm. your islands when you're high tiding, right? Yep, yep. yep. And even even without that, it, um, uh, if you win a Krark flip with it, you just banked um, extra yeah. off of it. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's mana positive. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. It seems pretty, pretty, pretty standard. I mean, I'm trying to think of, like, any super hidden lines, and there's really... I mean, other than all the coin flip and stuff, and like the, I mean, some of like the, the, the hidden line, if anything, is possibility. Possibility um, storm. Yeah, it, it, it functions as a combo piece in the deck, so you can win with just possibility storm. Um, How so? Uh, so what happens? You play possibility storm. Uh, you cast a spell. Crack. I use gut shot scenario again. You cast a gut shot. You stack the trigger. So let's say you lose the coin flip with Crack. The gut uh -huh. shot returns your hand. You still get the possibility storm trigger, which goes into another instant. You then cast that instant for free. Um, you might win, get two copies, you might lose, and that goes to your hand. Uh, if no, in the original no. scenario you, you win with Krark, you still get a gut shot, and you still get possibility storm trigger. Um, and you can run through your deck really easily like that. Oh, yeah, man. You, can, you can just cycle through. Yeah. And all well, the while, it, it, it's double storm count the whole way because you're casting two spells, two so spells eventually off. you can try and hit that mind's desire. I use possibility storm for a different reason. To make people miserable. Oh, it still works for that reason. You can do I'm that, sure too. <laughs> ah, but I only use it for the latter. Yeah, that's ah, fair. Yeah. yeah. 
We, we, we don't put it to good use. We just use it to make people miserable. <laughs> All right. So so tonight we were planning on building like a, a $500 budgetized version of this list. Um, so I will I will link your list link in the in the show notes in the description. Um, we'll probably if we have time or maybe even just off camera make like a seven fifty upgrade version because one of the things that I've been noticing lately yeah. is these lists that used to look good to me at five hundred like look okay are really yeah. starting to look better at like seven fifty now because of the way card prices are. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah it's insane. Dude, I looked dude. at the five hundred dollar cannon we made like just last year, like yeah. hmm. just when Icoria was was a couple months old. I think it's like eight hundred dollars now. Yeah, the 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 cast yeah. list I played on playing with power is like nine hundred now. And that cannon list was less than five hundred when we brewed it. It was like four eighty something. Yeah, honestly, it, we we quoted it in the video actually. That yeah, we uploaded. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah, because like. Sylvan Library is like even if you update to cheapest, like Sylvan Library is still like sixty five bucks. Rhystic stuff. Well, I think like forty. Mana Crypt went back up as well. I remember in the the last year when we were able to throw Mana Crypt in a couple decks and stay under five hundred dollars. I was yeah, we were or, and I mean at bare minimum we were able to do Mana Vault and Chrome Mox. Mana Vault, Chrome Mox, and Mox Opal. We got away with it a few times. Yeah. 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 So. As usual, I stripped out all the good stuff, and we have Classic. about 20 cards we gotta fill, and we have about, currently we have about 80 bucks to do it. I did make a functional mana base. It's a little rough, but it's okay. Wait. Pretty solid. Uh, Yeah, it looks, I mean, it looks fine. Yeah, I mean, like, even at the end, we'll, we'll probably want to make a couple tweaks to it, but right now it's yeah, yeah. Good base. probably swap some basics around. I might yeah. say cut the fabled passage just because. Yeah, I, I'm not a fabled passage fan. Yeah, no. let's just do it right now while we're thinking about it. Remove and just add another island for the moment. Wait, we yeah. can't under we can't we can't uh, support candelabra of Tonus in this. Come oh, on. oh, I was gonna mention since we're into brewing, there is Magus the candelabra. Magus of the Candelabra, which is great. <laughs> well, let's put it in. And it serves as a one-time ritual in the deck, certainly. But no, I believe I noticed that Candelabra was creeping up to $800 or something yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah. Something reasonable. But Magus of the Sticky Candelabra is a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those things you need to set up, but I think you accept being a turn slower in a budgeted yeah, deck like, like this. Yeah. Yes. Unfortunately. Yeah. You could even maybe put a couple of haste enablers in if you needed to. Eh, not not though. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst. Yeah, it, that would be like the only use case for for haste, yeah. almost. So, um, I, yeah. I do want to say. Oh, go ahead. No. Oh, I, I was gonna say. So the the list I have is pretty tight, and I've gotten it to where I like it. But a lot of cool cards came out in Strict Haven that are. We're so close, I think they'll just fit right in here. <coughs> yeah, um, yeah. I think this is a, a sanctuary for those ones that just miss the mm -hmm. fully budgeted version. Like, um, uh, what is the uh, the blue one? Arc, Arc Mage Arc Emeritus. Mage Emeritus. Yep. Yeah, that one was. That one is like is like so close for me. Mm -hmm. It's like because I've just seen it do so much work in like Orvar. Alright, so yeah, Archmage yep. Emeritus is a 4-drop 2-2 two -two that whenever you cast or copy a spell, draw a card. Or copy. Man, cast or, or copy. Or so copy. he's, he'll be a slightly less good but still good Song of Creation. Well, he, yeah. he could be as good. It depends. Um, so I did, and then, I did update the tutors and every, the tutor template recently. Mm -hmm. uh, so one that I thought about maybe might be good for this list is one muddle the mixture. Yep. And solve the equation. Solve the equation is a, yeah. Is that the new one? That's the new one, yeah. Two in a blue, shorter, yeah, instant or sorcery to hand. And yeah. I will add to that, um, what's the one mana transmute? Dizzy spell. Dizzy spell. So, solve the equation, dizzy spell. Yep, dizzy spell is in the, 
Yeah. Dizzy oh, spell in this case is. I mean, they're they're both good, but dizzy spell will mean that you won't fail if you have crack out an ability. Yeah. <laughs> he he can be a bad thing sometimes. Um, also, um, from uh, from um, Strixhaven, is it is it Ray Rayani? Vayran. 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 How do you spell it? V a y r a n, right? It's v e y. V e y r a n. Yeah. Yeah. The voice of duality. Yeah. That's the one that whenever you catch a copy of the spell, it gets plus one plus one. If casting a copy in an instant spell causes an ability to trigger, it triggers an additional time. That seems good. Yeah. Like it, it's a double crack, but it also doubles yeah. all the other stuff. Song of Creation uh, triggers Storm a, an additional time. Aetherflux Reservoir, Storm, Song of Creation, Crark himself. Other, other Magecraft cards. Yeah, other, other Magecraft cards. Wrong. I just put everything in the wrong deck. <laughs> <laughs> I put it in the wrong thing. Wow. I had, I had too many things open, so Varan. Why? Aiden. Aiden Kudbar. Oh, come on, Tim. It is V E Y R A N. Yep. Do you think the treasure generating one is good enough here? I was just about to mention him. He's fantastic. Yeah. Like, Fergie number two, almost. Yeah. Solve the Even equation. better, he just costs one more mana. Alright, so I got Solve the Equation in. Yep. Dizzy Spell needs to go in. Get Archmage Emeritus in. Uh, Archmage. Oh yeah, he's in there. Yeah, he's in there already. And you can hit refresh um, as well. I did not add a model yet. Mood oh. play the mix two ray. Uh, let me double check. So let me remove him. Uh, let me solve the equation. And remove dizzy spell from. All right, that was all of those. So and then uh, storm mm -hmm. kiln kiln artist is the last one that we were mentioning. The treasure generator. Storm. It's storm hyphen kiln. K i l n. Storm kiln artisan. Which, whenever you copy a spell, it makes a treasure. Okay. Yeah. Seems pretty good, especially like in a spells like deck. Yeah. yeah. Um. Oh. So. I did have to pull quite a bit. So some of the notable things that I took out are mm -hmm. Mox Diamond, Mox Amber, Crypt, LED, Chrome Mox, and Candle yep. are all out. Uh, also SWAT and Fierce Guardianship. SWAT and Fierce which are, are Those are big ones. Those are like very huge in this deck. So, I mean, if we put those two cards in, we'll have like 10 bucks. Uh, I would say so. One thing you can cut easily is exploration is just all right in the deck most of the so time. So it's okay. So I left it in because it was all right. That's fine. Yeah, it's it's fine, but it's not fine. just uh, in this situation of I think like not being able to play like candlesticks and maybe like the original duels and that kind of thing. You think you lose some value out of exploration here. That's a good point. Valid like point. Um, and then uh, I think. If we're gonna put a counter spell in, like Pact of Negation is still very good, and it's cheap-ish compared to like first... it's like nine dollars, I think, right? Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Nine. Fifteen. Fifteen is what it price is in that. I can't believe so, that I, when I saw you cut Noctis, I'm like, what? And then I looked at the price; it's worth more than Pact of Negation. Wow! What is that? Everything got expensive. It, it's it turns out that. free spells. It's only a dollar more than Swats on. So, I think what we can do to make up for some of the lost ramp is um, put back in that ESG and then put in a card that I originally had and kind of liked was Summoner's Pack. So, you, you know, he has 18 bucks, right? I do. I do. 
Um, but it gets you a good ramp package here where you can cast Summoner's Pact, double it, get Tinderwall and Elvish Spirit Guide. Um, okay, that's fine. Just wanted to make sure yeah. you were... Do we want to add Pact of Negation back in? Uh, let's see, what are we at right now? We're at 421. And we have 12 cards. You know, today. first let's do another shoe in this uh, Optus Fine. Optus good. And Optus, yeah. like Optus. Optus, Optus nice. good. Um, I'm trying to think of like so. I mean, we got all the good ones. We've got the we've got snap. We have frantic search. We have the cloud of fairies. Hmm. We can do a pseudo pet card, especially now with all these um Does mage in as a refreshing rain. It's on the considering section. Refreshing rain. What does it do? Uh, it is uh, one green, three colorless. If you can, tr- if an opponent controls a swamp and you control a forest, you may play it without paying its mana cost. Target player gains six life. I like that. It, Beautiful. It can ramp up Aether Flux and it's free. So yeah. Um, we already have submerge. Submerge is in. Um, what is that? Um. Oh, destroy destroy all enchantments. Green oh, card. I, I, I've thought about that reverent silence, but reverent the silence. Problem, yeah. The problem is two of our heavy payoff cards are enchantments. Oh, that's so true. And, yeah. And uh, and what you and do since on an Aetherflux deck, we are trying to dome an opponent because we're. I mean, this is based on the manual form list. Yeah. And, and yeah. The, the 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 condition is that it. The free condition is that it. Will allow them. They'll they'll gain six life. That's true, but e- either way, I, I don't think it quite fits. Mostly because of the killing our enchantment part. Yeah, I, mean, I was just saying that because I mean that is like a yeah, it's legit. Thing. Yeah. Um. We Did also have in the concerned pile. Light up the stage is pretty good with card. Yeah, um, it's pretty decent. Yep, that's pretty. Good. Forty-five cents. That's good. That's a card that um, Clark Sakashima is running. Yeah, I think we should yep. probably put in Serum Visions and Regrowth. I'd be fine with both of those. Yeah. yeah. Regrowth, you said? Regrowth. Regrowth is good, I think. Serum yeah, Visions Serum Vision is definitely good. Because we're kind of like going to be perpetually needing those low-end those low um, cantrips. And I also have... Uh, there's a Gamble card that is... Since we're we're going all in here anyways, because we have to, is crop rotation. It is mana positive. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. Yeah. If you will, uh, of course. Do we want to do any kind of like any other rituals, like pyretic ritual? Mm, uh, no, you can't really use that mana all that well. Okay. Yeah, I think you run right of flame, like. Yeah, that's uh, not, that's just... because so many people are running Rite of Flame as well, you get the fun benefit of making an extra red every once in a while. Yep. We, uh, we, and it's we could it. do Infernal Plunge. Don't want to sack a creature. Possibly. So, um, have I discussed my my new pet little budget trick? Is I have like a Skirt Prospector package I like to use now. Oh, sure. So I use, yep. so it's Goblin Matron. Mm-hmm. I use this in like decks that are lean on packs that I like. So it's Goblin Matron, uh, Impulsive Pilferer, and Skirk Prospector. So Skirk, oh. Pros- Skirk Prospector, uh, you can sack a goblin to make a red. So it helps reduce the cost mm-hmm. of all of, of, of like, pretty much just act as a ritual for all your other goblins. But also like, you can use the impulsive pilferer that when it dies, it makes a treasure, and then you can encore it, and it also makes a treasure. So the idea is is that you can pay the one, sack it to like the the um, infernal plunge, animate it back, and then they all make treasures when they die again, and it kind of acts as a way to kind of help give you some treasures. Plus, if you have the prospector, you get to be able to like make positive it's mana positive at that point. Like I like it. It's just it's a it's little kind of a slow filler. to get online, and it's we don't have a, a lot of sack outlook. 
Yeah, it's kind of a filler card. It's kind of like it's kind of a filler slot, and it it's cheap, and it like these decks are slower than like than than a normal like budgetless deck. It's just something to consider, something to think about. Well, especially since we want the matron to go get dockside anyway. But I changed my mind on Infernal Plunge. Also, (laughs) I don't think we should run it. Okay, that was the that was kind of what it. I usually tend to run it in red black decks because you get yeah. more it gives you act like you yeah like those sack effects are, are well i think good. there's not a super high creature density in this <laughs> list and also the, the, the something better though yeah hmm? what you got oh sorry my oh orcish lumberjack orcish lumberjack is always a good boy um i was better thinking black lotus use it every turn i was thinking does neoform make sense in a budgeted version of this list to go get something like bergy or in this case one of your four drop uh magecraft creatures because you can i, I had him in early versions of the list but i think you'd want eldritch Evo eldritch evolution there. comparatively so, so the line is because getting two eldritch evos very first iteration list i had dockside and baron in the list so i could double eldritch evo or neoform Oh, uh, that makes sense, yeah. Um, but <laughs> that wasn't a good line, but in this list, I think... I, I like Eldritch Evolution. I think it's pretty good. I think Eldritch Evolution is yeah. a pretty good card. And, and I think we should knock in another Mana Dork in here, too, to yeah. both help support it, and just because it's a good thing to have. Do we... So... Mm, what do you want to put in for your other Mana Dork? So we have options we could do one of the things that puts a land into play a la ex- exploration like the um like a lanoir scout or a secure snake lump yeah the the one that does a secure tribe do. scout that's the one we could do a secure tribe scout uh assuming it hasn't gone up too crazy high i know yeah. it was expensive how, do you, spell, for... how do you spell secure tribe scout s-a-k, S-A-K. yeah s-a-k-u-r-a and then a dash and then tribe. That's three forty-five. That's not bad. There's. Not too bad. I, I think there's, there's also. A, I swear. Is it Lanor Envoy? What's the other one? Is oh, it? Oh, um, shoot! I'm gonna have to look at. I'm, like, I'm gonna go to EDH Rec. Hold on. Yeah. EDH Rec is so useful when you're doing this. Damn. Play. I'm gonna beat you. Well, so what's nice about EDH Rec is the reference. It already kind of correlates cards that are similar. Mm, oh, gotcha. So there's another Sky elf. Shroud something? Sky Shroud something. Yeah. Well, there's Sky Shroud Reclaimer, which just you sack. Sky Shroud Ranger. Them. Sky Shroud Ranger, that's the one. Yeah, that should be cheap, and it doesn't. Sorcery speed's fine. Well, there is a there is a third one though, isn't there? Like I think the third one costs two mana. I think no, there's always oh, it. I so there's there a one drop where you just sack it to put a land in play. Are you crows and wayfarers? What you're talking about? Oh, yeah. crows and wayfarer. Yeah. There's also the one where you can sack it to make one mana. It's like blood pet, but it makes one mana of any color. The uh, oh. wild cantor. Yeah. Might be a good like, like mana battery. I feel like you want so. I feel like if anything, if we're doing a sacrifice to make a mana thing, we want the crows and wayfarer over that, just because the deck is playing things like high tide. And I, I but it. I also think that like the tribe scout or the something like that is still probably better. If we have the budgetary space for such things, yeah, we do. We're at three thir- four thirty four right now. Like, or we could probably even. So, like at this point, we could begin to consider either like putting in like a Chromox, a Mox Amber, or we could put in like Fierce and Swat. Let's see. Yeah, like because we're at ninety nine cards and we still have like sixty bucks, seventy, almost sixty five bucks left. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, not bad at all. And we can cut some stuff. Yeah, hit refresh and look the list over. 
Yeah. Uh, okay. I think we should put Flusterstorm in for sure. Flusterstorm Flusterstorm. is very, very good in this deck. And the reason it's so good is because you can cast it and then have your storm trigger and then lose your Krark flip and return Flusterstorm to your hand, but still counter the spell on the stack. And and on top of it, those storm, now that we have the Magecraft. Now the Magecraft cards. So Um, also something to think about going forward, we are now one card in, one card out. But we have okay. forty. We have fifty bucks left. Right into my veins with the Magecraft Flusterstorm triggers. Oh mm-hmm. yes. Yeah, that that sounds delicious. Let's see. I'm looking it over here. So, do you want to get SWAT in? You want to get like something like Gutshot? I, I, mean, I would really like to see Noxious Revival. That card does very right. good things. So we want to put Noxious in. So pick a cut. Uh, regrowth. That one's easy. Regrowth. Free one. Yeah. Uh, regrowth. We are removing you. Okay. Uh, I'm looking it over. And so now, was Hall Breacher? It looked like Hall Breacher was mostly in there as a hate bear. Oh, um, well, and time spiral, so that that's out. Well, that's because it's two hundred dollars. What about time spiral? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What about? But, but otherwise, Holbreacher. yeah, Hull Breacher is just too good to most in most decks. But since we have no payoff with him now, I right. I think it's safe to not run it. Right. What about Lotus Cobra? It's two dollars, and whenever we get all these land triggers, not Lotus Cobra is good. Yeah, Lotus what, Cobra is good. What do we want I, to pull for it? I'm souring on. <laughs> on the Magus of the Candle thing. Yeah, I, I think, think it's a fair cut. Low. Yeah. I think I, like the setup makes it pretty apparent, too. He doesn't ramp at all, so it's only good if you play him early and get out of a high tide later versus, you know, Candle yeah. Bye-bye, little high tide buddy. Tide. You're gone. As much as I like him. Um, oh, he's, he's real neat, but just not I wish we exactly had it. Yeah, we don't have, like, a ton of, like, dorks, per se. Most of our stuff is, like, put lands into play. Yeah. And, like, that's fine, because... What about Turnabout? Turnabout's not bad. An untapped lands. it's a good mana generator. Yeah. Hmm. The only thing is, it's... It's not a great one because without high tide, it's hard to get too much value from it. Outside of like winning a correct flip, yeah, I mean, I guess. yeah. Like you need to hit like four. Let's say you hit four mana when you have three out. You hit the correct flip, you're netting two mana total, net, or gaining mm-hmm. two mana. It's gaining two, yeah. Kind of meh. Meh. Okay. Um, let's see. Where's the dollar amount button? Oh, there it is. Four. Yeah. Four thirty-four ninety-two. Right. Oh, that is not bad. Um, we're just collecting swat and four sixty-four yeah. now. Yeah. Can what, we? What can we? Put I feel like swat and fierce. If we can fit them, I don't know what they yeah. cost. But <laughs> I I agree. They are incredibly good at well, swat's forty bucks. Swat's forty bucks. I have thirty oh, last no, check. Ooh. No, Squat, I'm sorry, Squat is 30, Fierce Guardianship is 40. Oh, okay. So, we have to cut one card, and once we're done cutting that card, we're, we still have $7 left in the budget. I think we can get rid of... Okay, so my my picks for cuts here, um, you guys can, can say otherwise, but um, solve the equation while I like it's three mana is a lot to lose a card. Okay. So I'm. That's one of and muddle the mixture because there's nothing besides breach and super dioxide. important to can tutor for. Yeah, it's getting exactly breach, oxide, or rain freeze. Yeah. But since we're not on LED, expeditiously tutoring for underworld breach isn't necessarily. Okay, that's fine. I yeah. Can cut it. Yep. Right. And Muddles one. out. And muddles like 
twelve dollars or something, isn't it? It's like six. But yeah. Oh, that's six. Good. That's a good cut. I like yeah. it. It dropped it's a good one. cut. So is it, it, is it SWAT or guardianship that goes in? That's the question. Well, I put SWAT in. Cool. And we have fourteen dollars. So if let let's do a little let's do a little finagling. I mean, we might be able to finagle. Yeah. If if you put it in, how much does it put us at? So, with Fearson and SWAT, we're at five twenty four, yep. which. Nice. I'm okay with, but we still need to cut a card. Need one cut, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, how? So we're using Spellseeker to get High Tide mostly. Oh, get rid of Arcane Signet. We don't need that. We don't need a rock. I think. No. No. You think we're good? I mean, we we've got we've got one man dorks. Yeah. And, no. um, we have exactly Arbor Elf birds. And that's our dorks. Right Tin of wall. I'm, I'm, right I'm of counting tins. scaling. So you, you want to pop off Berk turn one for like turn two and then like serum visions are like a you know, a Some blue spell. Okay. Um yeah. So that's that's the curve that the deck wants to follow. Right. It's yeah. out. The deck's Real pretty good. happy with Kark on turn two. As long as like like I find that a lot of my wins on the deck have come turn three or turn four or so. Okay. So we're at five twenty two right now. I mean that's pretty that's pretty reasonably within range for me personally. I think so. Yeah. You know? Awesome. And um why don't we go ahead and goldfish a couple of hands and see how she looks. Oh uh, real quick I wanna revisit the land base just to double check things. I'm gonna I'm gonna I was just about to scroll down. Oh so, <laughs> yeah. So we're at Forty percent pips for blue. We got fifty three percent production. We're at eighteen percent red with twenty five percent or eighteen percent production with twenty five percent requirements. I can tell so you right at, now, we're gonna hit too many lands without green mana. Yeah, yep. we're a little light on green and red. So the way we saw that is we will cut the, one. the red's not a big deal due to filterable things like mana morphos and tinder lotus cobra. Um, Right, so, so we're gonna remove one island. We're gonna increase one forest. And puts us to 25, 28, 18. So that puts us a little more in range. Oh, we don't have misdirection in this list. I don't run misdirection, that's fine. Okay, it's just a good green budget counter spell interaction. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. What do you think? I took like I'm probably gonna take out force of negation my list. I don't. Yeah, the thing is, like, I don't I play force of negation and force of will in the list right now, and a lot of the time I do not want to go down the blue card. Uh, I think force of will is still worth it because you. I think force of will is unconditional, right? So that's we like How that. How important but... is it to protect Kirk? No one targets Kirk. No, no one ever. It's a stacks. Half the time, it is a stacks piece for you, right? Like, yeah, because you're gonna, you're statistically, you will lose half of all your flips, and so people will let Kirk stay, and then you'll cast your, you'll cast like in a in a full budget version, you'll cast your time spiral, lose your flip, and then pass the turn, right? Like, yeah, he never presents a threat to anyone that is visible. So. Just a fat little meatball. And then that I see people kill the drake and, and they regret it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. you kill the drake, the crark, and then you try to cast a counter spell and you lose because you <laughs> you have not you have not tuned your deck to be resilient enough. To, to, to play against crark. <laughs> I to play with it. To That's play funny. with crark. Yeah. That's funny. Okay, alright. So, um, so there's a couple of options that we can do for... Some lands. Let me pull up what we got here. So, to help us with, like, so there the two best options for us. Well, actually, there's mm -hmm. three. So there's the pathways that we can include a couple, like one or two of those, mm -hmm. if we wanted. Um, there's the filter lands. Um, like flooded grove is like six fifty. Uh. I'd I'd say no to that because we right now we're trying to hit turn one green mana so we don't filter okay. land on turn. That's fine. Um, so like, does uh, stomping ground? That's so in here. Are, that's on there. Yeah, yeah. Are we, are we on rejuvenating springs? 
Uh, waterlog. We're not on waterlog growth. Is that exorbitantly expensive at the moment? It's like seven. Uh, Okay. I left it out because I because it's a high tide list, so I was trying to keep the island count as high as possible. I, yeah, I mean, I think it's a thing we have to do, but at the same time, we're on like Yavamaya coast, right? So, yeah. Tim, I know your opinion on exotic orchard budget list, but I I like it still. <laughs> I would so, personally do exotic orchard. My opinion on exotic orchard and this type of list is that it's it will hit green more times than not. Because, yeah, in like so, I've I've had I've been playing some games in like essentially the budgeted meta, I guess you could say, mm-hmm. and Dockside's not as good as you think. Yeah, right. Because there's a lot one, there's a lot more dorks, and two, everything's just slower. So your your Dockside's not making like like I, I when I played on the CHTV stream, my yep. Dockside rotted in my hand all game. <laughs> yeah. It, so, okay. but even I think it's good that it if you're saying it it makes green fairly often like that's good enough for me right now like it's, yeah because I I think we need I, another I, green pip yeah I don't disagree so exotic orchards in so let's cut you want to cut a cut an island I think so just a come, like one, I think. okay I so think, we're not I think it's a, well I think it's important to remember like with island density in this like we're at about. 33% plus no we're we're almost at 40% islands right now with breeding pool and steam vents. Yeah. Uh so I think it's really well, not yeah too well, much of a problem. problem. We don't have fetches. Right. But so you don't want to you don't want to fill up too we, much with We did like there are ways you can work around that like adding in the crop rot helps because that'll help filter two and islands the ash barons, yeah. at some mm-hmm. point. Um, so we could put and, a we had a harbor in a, or not Hinterland Harbor, um, a waterlock grove if you want it, and cut like a forest. Well, even if it like it doesn't have to be waterlock grove. I'm just saying I think that we can. I think that going down an island like at at a total of what thirteen, fourteen islands in the deck. Yeah, right. Eleven like, plus. Well, plus breeding pool and steam. breeding pool steam vents. Yeah, like I think. We'll be okay. Okay. All right. Right. Yeah. No, I mean, I that, that was why I tended to, like, a lot of the, I, I was, like, I mean, we've got Syndicate in here, because, I mean, I would run bat- more Battle Bond stuff if we had it, but Battle for Zenith, Yeah. Yeah, we don't. So, I mean, we could add, like, Fiery Islet. We could add um, the Water and Lug Grove, if you guys want it. I would recommend pulling like a forest and a mountain, but again, it'll raise the price of the deck a little bit, so we might need to like cut something else for it. I gotcha. If I mean, if we can, I would easily cut that mountain for a waterlogged or something. Yeah, the basic mountain is not. It's just there because you, you 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 sometimes you want that. Well, at, at the time you had the. Uh, the fetch that uh, fable passage so yeah fable well, we also, yeah so what so is do, the um do we want fiery island or waterlog growth well Water. just the just the yeah i think blue green is the important thing i wonder if, if we wanted to, if we wanted to, for budgetary constraints right we could go for the uh the red green battle bond land oh i i just forgot some janky card that um I considered once that might be good for us. Hang on. It, it's a split card, red, green, and it's like add one mana of any color to your mana. It's like a mana morphos that doesn't draw you a card. Oh, I don't know. It. Do? Uh, Is it down here? Sure. Hang on. Add one mana, any color equals one. It's an instant or a sorcery. Don't know. Got me, man. <laughs> But just the thought that we might need filtering. Ah, here we are. It is an adventure card. It is called Rose Thorn Acolyte. Rose Thorn Acolyte. I know that card. 
Snowstorm. I don't know for sure that we want this, but it's goofy though. I mean, it wins off of a park flip. Nah, I don't, I don't, I'm staring at him like, nah, it doesn't do enough. Oh, you're oh, you're not willing to get behind that? Okay. No, like <laughs> going back to the list and looking at it, I I don't want to take anything else out. Okay. Yeah. I think the list looks like okay for like a starter list. Like yeah. we're at five thirty right now. I it's not I, bad. So the first question I always get with these, and this will be a good mm-hmm. include to even. Uh, maybe put in the like the description uh, when you copy the list back over to you. Um, mm-hmm. Or like, what are like the first two or three upgrades that you would recommend? You know, probably around uh, like, easily the mana base. Once you start fixing that mana base, working in fetches, that's what's going to get you to a solid point. So, um, so you think put in it like a, like a prismatic vista, maybe like a like a what if foothill. Or, or yeah, whatever fetch. the cheapest fetches are that that you can get, um, fetch those would be the way to go. In islands, yeah. if you can. All right. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That that's fine. So that would be like so. What if foothills hits pretty a decent amount because it hits your green pole, your stomping grounds for you. Yep. Hits the cinder blades. It can get an those. island. It can get uh, whatever color you need. Um. Yeah. Pluto Delta and and, and Flooded Strand and then the Prismatic Vista will get whatever you need. So those are good. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, I was actually going to. All right. That's good. That seems better than my suggestions, which were just add pro Mox, which is kind of my. Oh, for everything. <laughs> now, this is, this is one of those decks for the the mana bases where it makes where the it fetches smooth. Love. The, the, the fetches love the smooth. Okay. You guys want to go fish a couple of hands real quick before we uh, say goodbye? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Do you guys want me to share my screen, or you guys want me to do that? Yeah, let's share your screen. Yeah, share your screen, my guy. Give me one second. All right, you ready for Inception? Okay. Oh, goodness. So, all right, so we have um, Nature's Claim, Command Tower, Forest, Waterlog Grove, Mind's Desire, Arbor Elf, Exotic Orchard. I wouldn't keep this. I I would say this pod dependent because this is a Thrasio start right here. Like you have a payoff and you have a Thrasios turn two is probably how it's gonna go down and then start activating turn three. I I wouldn't keep normally if it was the non budget I wouldn't. So let's say we don't keep this. Yeah, I, I probably wouldn't keep it because it doesn't really go anywhere. Like, it has no cancer. Do you agree, Scotty? Anymore. Well, <laughs> uh, I think I'm chipping this back. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah, because like, it's four I was hands. looking at it in the, in the budget perspective with the with the four lands and, like, a turn slower, but I can't I can't justify it just being a basic forest that my Arbor Elf is getting either so yeah i'm I'm sending that back all right let's reset that second seven is island brainstorm we got a shivan reef no i'd risk it this has good things in it has no green man g will off park very good what do we right. got oh yeah all right draw a card all right let's draw Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> you know that's not as bad as it looks. That's not that bad, actually. Honestly, let's go. Up. Actually, that's not. Bad. A la- yeah, that's a land grant, right? Here, brainstorm and land. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, and land I'm grant take... on your first turn. Yep. Brainstorm your land back to the top of your deck. Don't uh, wait. You'll... Yeah, but then you shuffle them away. But you'll get a forest. But you get <laughs> you get a forest. You'll fix your mana. You, you yeah, can so you, also wait on it. You you could just play this out. You know what I would do? Let me let me offer a slight suggestion. Okay. How about we play the Shivan Reef, mm-hmm. brainstorm the island back, then play the land grant because the condition for land grant. That's what we were saying. That's what, that's what we were just <laughs> saying. Yeah. That's exactly what we just said. <laughs> God. That is actually the only legal way to play the land. Yeah. 
Oh, Bergie. Oh, goodness. Oh. Yes. Oh. Okay, so oh. Island is back. Got, oh, it got spicy. That's a oh, turn to Bergie. Island is oh, back. What else are we getting rid of? Uh, the, the blue card you just got. The um thing that searches. The tutor. Okay. All right. So now we land grant. Yep. yep. Go get your forest land. Probably a breeding pool. We want breeding pool, yep. or do we want stopping grounds? Breeding pool. Breeding we want pool. The island. Ones are good. Uh, always fetch out islands when you have the option. All right. And then we don't forget to hit shuffle. Shuffle, 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 shuffle a bunch of times. All right. That's turn one. Turn two. Moxfield, if you're watching this, Harry, ah, could you? Nice draw. <laughs> could you add shuffling it after did. you view your library, please? This. <laughs> so I don't have to click the button, Harry, if you're listening, please. <laughs> so we're going to play that. So we're going to go to 37. This is where we slam Bergie off of Tinderball. Yep. This is absolutely where we slam Bergie off of Tinderball. All right. 36. Make it colorless. Actually, Slam a birdie. Yeah, 30, yeah, we're at 37. All right, next turn. Yes. Noxious. Uh, Lovely. Um, this is a cast a Krark situation, I think, right? And then see how many gut shots you get. See how many gut shots and how much red mana you can generate. Yep. <laughs> okay. So, Tim, get ready to flip some coins. <laughs> Okay. There is a coin flip function in here. Uh, you right. just hit the so number two. Gain two. Where's the. No, you're going to lose two, my friend. You're going to lose two. Oh, that's rolled a four. All right. To me, that's a success. Evens are that's a success. Shot. So you get oh. two gut shots. So you'll, you'll kill yeah. a couple dorks. Uh, or, you'll have. Uh, or hit somebody in the face, whatever. Yeah. A red kill, mana. You'll have so a red mana. Creature. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. You have a right, noxious um, revival. If you wanted to try and generate some more red mana, I think Cause, you do. yeah, because you want to hit your Jessica as well. So you right. you play the noxious revival. You try to generate some more red mana. All right. You grab uh, even, target and your wall it goes back to hit. Yeah, we got there. It failed, so we have two red mana. All right, and now we're gonna make another red mana when we recast this noxious revival. And even we got it. Alright, cool. So we'll Bummer. We'll <laughs> we want more odds. Don't target your own gut shot. We don't want it. Target the the Tinder wall, no. right? Yeah, just Yeah. Just put yeah, both copies on the Tinder wall and then Or an opponent's thing. Yeah. Or an opponent's You, you don't want God. the gut shot on top of your thing. Okay. Yeah. Even though it's a free spell. Well, because we're gonna cast Jessica as well. Yeah, we're about to J Will right now. And we don't uh, want that to be in the top six if yeah. Gotcha. What about um the land grants? Because we don't have any lands in our hand. Oh. Um, oh. Did we, we play? Is this turn three? This is turn two. But, no, this is turn three. Turn three. We turn. So yeah, we, we, we do want the land grant. Yeah, you right. can take the land grant. The land grant. So we just put that. Yeah, there. absolutely. All right, and now we pray to the Kark gods and go with J Will. Pray to the lords of Kark. Uh, so we it. cast the J will, and we got we got a two, um, so we got two copies. I count that as six red mana usually. You can yeah, double it, so. gold fishing in the first four turns. I do six. Okay, you have twelve red mana in your mana pool. That's a mana morphos, right? That's there. a mana morphos. Oh, things um, have gotten well, things have gotten good. <laughs> <laughs> I love you this know, deck these, so much. These, these buckets it's are so cool. Well, when you know how to play them. It's, it Don't forget that land grant too. Yeah, yeah. If we can just cast that right now and get two forests yeah. from the deck. All right, but get two forests from the deck. It does matter for storm count, I guess, but it doesn't really matter. All right. Well, let's let's reveal our hand. Oh, it, it matters for Bergy though. So flip a coin because we're yep. We're banking flip a coin right every now. time because we're, we're banking red it. and storm count. We I got have to track two copies. All right. Okay. Two oh, copies of land grant. Or thirteen red mana. Um, yeah, so, thirteen red and pool. Nuts. We got two copies. Yeah, like, frankly, at this point, I'd be surprised if you didn't. Did you win the metamorphose flip? Yeah. Did you get your Did you get your forests yet? Okay. I did not. No. You gotta get your forests. Oh. 
And right, then so... you need to do the metamorphose. Right. Yeah. So put the EE back as well. <gasps> Go get your forests. Get uh, uh, a duel, I guess, ground. stomping ground and a forest. Right? That's what we have left, I think. Yeah. Uh, we have a stomping grounds and a cinder blade. We can get or a basic. Uh, Cinder Glade is uh, conditional on a basic, right? On two basics. Two, ba oh. Yeah, so just get a basic forest. Man, this might be a turn three budget win. This is great. Dude, this is what was happening with, uh, with Kalia, dude. It was fucking crazy. And we shot so, and we yeah, so now you've got your mana morphos. You won your flip. Drop. Uh, and what color is the mana red. do you want to play? There's ooh, that's a, that's a favorite. You want blue? You want to make blue? <laughs> you want to make blue? Yeah. Dude, that's a frantic search. This. With, with those that's draws, a... you won this. Whoa! You make four blue. You have fourteen red in pool. That's a Vayran and a frantic search. Let's do it. Yeah, fourteen red, four blue. You cast four blue. You get a red back. So you, spend you get a red and back. So. You... Yeah. So you have uh, 13 red and 3 blue in pool. Let's try it again. Oh, play land. Play land first. Play. We're on turn 3 still. Play play that island. That oh, yeah. Got off to the side. Don't play. do that. Do the duel. Yeah, play the island. Just in case you hit high tide. Any. Yes, you do. Off of Jessica's will. It... Plus, we probably, we're going to get choked on blue anyway. Yeah. All right, so now you're at two red and or, or you're at um yeah, twelve blue. red. No, you stay neutral on yeah. And one blue. Twelve red, two blue. Twelve red, two blue in pool. You have yeah. actually you get an extra red because Bergy triggers twice. Oh, that's yeah. true. That's our last blue because we cast this, and this is the third time I tried to. Cast no, no, I I can't be red. I, no, because you got four blue. Off you got four blue off a of metamorphose. Yeah, that's. So yeah, that's the third time we're casting Frantic Search. He lost twice already. Yeah. So I cast that. That's one blue. Yep. Yeah, I cast that. That's two blue. Out of four total. This is the third time I cast it. Oh, oh, you're already on the yeah, third yeah. time cast. Yeah. So oh, now okay. I'm going to trigger it. Oh, don't. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Tim, you missed something. You were getting two Krug triggers now when you cast this. Are you yeah. counting for that? So you can, you can win one of the flips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Tim, this deck is like crazy. Yeah, this deck is bookkeeping, my friend. This deck is like <laughs> you have to you have to look at all of your triggers and get them exactly yeah, just, right. And this is but why I play console. <laughs> I don't honestly, Tim, I don't think like if you wanted to progress to the next hand, I do not think you can lose from here. Right. We yeah, can I tell you where this is going. It's you're banking a ton of mana, your storm counts huge, <laughs> and then you're gonna tutor just like just you're gonna just get mind's desire it. with that mystical tutor or that just, uh sorry solve the equation and then just win the game trigger twice so oh. you'll get double the double. <laughs> let's restart yeah all right well let's we go got, for that turn two we got our that's artist a good ish hand. we got a visions we that's got a dock sign which will probably make three mana on turn four uh forest exotic orchard Veil and a island. That is a good ish hand. It's okay. Yeah. Doesn't go fast. It's a slow hand. It, it doesn't, but, uh, you know, it's a steady hand. Yeah, yeah, it probably goes at the right speed. Draw a card. Draw a card. You got an island. Play island. Do we play the visions now? Uh, or do we wait for turn three? Oh. Uh, one point wait. to bring up. Since we, we have this board. hand, if we're in a pod where other where other people are playing red. Oh, oh yeah, for the exotic orchard. Yeah, yeah. Because if the exotic yeah. orchard doesn't make red, we pitch it. Yeah. Uh, so I think you just and wait we on the. Do we wait on the? Or you might draw something else. Do we wait? Hmm. Yeah, that's true. The, the spell, the the sling density is pretty high. You could right. serum here. We Play it. At yeah. Worst comes to worse. The right. veil can just catch our draw later. as a fish, and then okay. those are our scries. He's a bird and a land. And send them both away. Yeah, just bottom them both. Bottom. Bottom. Next turn. Turn two. Hey. Pretty good. That ain't bad. 
So there you go. Sure. Do we play fish or play frog? Uh, usually it would be the. Yeah, yeah I'd usually get the croc online, but. Croc online. Wow. Turn three. Nothing wrong with a mid-game fish either. Yeah. <laughs> um, Is that song of creation? That's a song yeah. of creation. We don't have the baby. Problem. So we're saying at this point, Dockside maybe makes. Makes three, like three mana. Yeah. So we could jam the song. Well, then oh, this, this is great. This is great. We, we we can jam the song and then play Preordain because it gives us a lane. We have the mana for that. How does that give us a lane? But, uh, song creation lets you play an extra land a turn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's I'm... a line of text on there. <laughs> it's yes. Awesome. Yeah, so it's play. buried in there, but yeah, it's an explorer. So, so play um, this. Play. Do we play our island or we play the forest? That, that is dangerous, though. Like, we don't have any free spells right now. Because you are just going to ditch your hand is the problem. It, okay, we, we could again go for a fourth turn win here by just playing the Docks and the, the Dwarf right now. Yeah, That's playing the Dwarf. Awesome That's what us. I think is, yeah. So okay. let's play the Forest. Yep. Yep, play the Dock side with okay. your Exotic Orchard and your Forest, okay. and then we play the Dwarf. We play the Dwarf off of the Treasures. And then we go to turn four. Got a chain. Okay. That isn't bad. Not horrible. I mean, we uh, can just chain the dock side now. Yep. It'll make a treasure to pay for itself whether you lose or win. So. Yep. Chain of error, targeting dock side. Coin flip. Even if good. we make if a treasure. We, win, we get make two treasures. Because yeah. you got a copy. Yep. So we got two. All right. So we have a dock side, and we can uh, ritual off our dock side. Do we copy the chain? No, because this is the point where someone will bounce the dwarf. Yeah. I mean, we'll or not to... playing. Yeah, you want to keep that. The dwarf is an engine right now. We should be happy with our two treasures. Yep. Okay. All right. Do we replay the dock side for three um, treasures? Give me one second. Let me think this through here. We. We also I have think... a land drop too. Drop. Yeah, let's just play the dock side. That's, that's right. Yeah, just side, tap the, the yeah. yeah. So we have right. five so treasures. Like five treasures now. Okay. And okay. Now we do island song. Yeah. Creation. Land drop song. Right. And we have one treasure for you currently. Uh, no, we should have two because that costs. We, have... we had five treasures in the island. Yeah. That costs four. Okay. So we'll right. Two. We have two treasures. Um, so now we use the island to cast the preordain? Yes. yes. Or, yeah. well, we have two treasures. We use one treasure to cast the I'll keep treasure. one. Yeah. Trigger and the dwarf, make another treasure. We get Draw. two copies. Or we get a copy. Well, first, well, you have we, the song we, of creation trigger. So, so this is where we get to choose our triggers. We have three triggers. Yeah. We do the dwarf first, and then you should do the song. Yeah. I believe. So make a treasure. Okay. Yep, so two treasures. Now draw two cards. Now draw two cards. Okay. Now flip Should your crook. Now flip your crook, yeah. Odds. That's good. That's back good. In your hand. Back, back in your hand. Yeah. Two treasures. Let's use one treasure. Let's cast a preordain. Okay. Draw we two. Make a treasure. Okay, you now have two treasures. You draw two. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's crook. Now flip for crack. Evens. Okay, we make another treasure, and you have two preordains on the stack. <laughs> All right, let's uh, scry one. Do you want to scry two and then draw? Is that a mind's desire? Uh, a mind's desire. Okay. All right. Prepare to not lose. <laughs> Okay, I think I think we're good. Because that is yeah, a yeah, that yeah. is a we'll Clark's thrum, a land drop to make, and a mind's desire. <laughs> now, if you can, if you get that mind's desire fired off, just right now off the storm trigger, your uh, artisan will make six treasures or whatever. And so, even oh if God. it goes back to your hand, you just cast it again. Okay. Yeah, and again, and again, and again, and you and get the storm trigger. Some mana because we yeah. have another land drop. We've got the noxious. We'll make guarantee two. Yep. So that's yeah. another turn four. Oh my god. Yeah. These hands, like these, these little budget decks are not, not horrible. They're 
Yeah. Well, I, I gotta gotta thank Wizards for those Magecraft cards too. Yeah, the Magecraft stuff um made this deck like so much more attainable. I think like it did. A hundred percent. Like that that dwarf's like a I don't know fifty cent card probably or something. Yeah. It does work. I actually um, like like I think in goldfishing these hands, I think I legitimately like Veyran so far. Uh, yeah, like, he's, he's definitely on drum. my test list. Yeah. There's that one, that force of negation slot has to change. He's up there as an option. Definitely. Stop. We'll get rid of that echo. Alright. I think, uh, I think we've seen what the deck can do. I think this is, uh, <laughs> this has been pretty nice. It's been a lot of fun. A lot of coin flips. Who doesn't like coin flips? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, at the end of the day, it, it's not winning via Oracle Consult, but, like, I've never had an unfun game playing right. and, this and, deck. And, and, and it, it, it's actually punch it pretty good. That was the thing, like, with the Kyolus. Like, I've been playing it a little bit here and there, and, mm. like, it is a Mardu Turbo Nos list, and it goes pretty good, as long as you know the lines. Which yeah. is kind of nice. And you can get the lines from reading the primer. Like that's the same thing with this. Like this won't have a primary, but your primary list, your your budget list list does. And most of the lines are in are still in there. Like, I actually more... should add, they're not super detailed. And some of them are like especially like your first time gold fishing this, Tim, like they are weird. The lines are well, funny. and some of the math Stacking you might want right. you might want to include some of the math with it is actually kind of I think yeah. this is a this is a deck that is going to reward like uh, uh, fundamentally strong players and um, play. yeah yeah I think I think basically the the I think the the thing that I found is the more reps that I get on Krark Thrasios the better I am at Krark Thrasios yeah for sure uh, and that might not be the case on like like CST the 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 play lines are pretty straightforward yeah uh, but. In something like this, your lines of play are so out there that you're. I don't think you'll win your first like five games or yeah, whatever. You gotta know how to. You, have, you gotta know how to assemble the win from all of the random pieces. Yeah, you and, and the identifying those opening hands, it's strange. It's something yeah. to get used to. Yeah, I mean, like we even double, we even doubled back a few times on, on like game. sequences and lines of play and stuff. So. Right. But that's what's nice about Moxfield's playtest feature is you don't have to put the deck together to try it out and practice. Man, I goldfish my decks like 75, 100 times on Moxfield before I print them out. I, when it's slow at work, I will test out like some Razakat lines and stuff like that sometimes. It's Dude, a lot of fun. Honestly, that's like, that's like, that's like my toilet pastime, right? Like I'm yeah. at work. <laughs> and yeah. Boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. I log into Moxfield. And... On the company <laughs> dime. Yeah. yeah. That's great. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we should get the, I think we should wrap this up and get out of here so we can get back to Absolutely. Bullshit. Uh Deke, Scott, uh any uh anything you guys want to plug where people can play with you? CDH Nexus, of course, if you're interested in competitive magic. Great place to go. Uh, yep. Highly encourages proxies. Good people. Can't say much more. LFG doesn't cost money. That's true. That it's true. completely free. It it's is completely, completely free. free. Always will be. Yep. Um, yep. Oh, uh, we should... Uh, I think Deke and Timmy and I are all competing in Major League oh, yeah. Commander. Major which League starts... Commander. Which starts May? First week in May, I think? Yep, and yeah. this will and probably be out about the same time. Yeah, and Tim <laughs> is in that first week matchup. I'm in the first game of the first week. And yeah. I'm going to play my first pick deck. Godo. Godo. I'm excited That's... to see those uh, decks get drafted. That'll be interesting. Right. I'm oh. very excited I'm, for I'm this. Gonna... Happily. Because of that deck database just sneaking that last update in there. Kark Thrasios is on the brewer. On the brewer's corner to be taken yeah. at pick Nine number one. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I, won't, I, I won't snipe you. I won't, I, my, uh, I'm getting Dodo. 
game one. Pick one I want to play. I want to play basically no deck that I am currently playing. Oh, so like I, I won't do Jaleva or Hermit Druid or Crack Thrasios. I might do Razakats if it falls as slow as I am. I'm picking number ten. So if I can get it in the top ten, I might do that. But I'm just gonna. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find. I mean, that's it. That people want. And then I think gonna, that's totally on, fine. You're gonna do a troll to yeah. everybody is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I think it'll be good. Clown. Yeah, my my first game is sick robot, scroll mob, and um and Devante. So Yeah. That's a that should be good. I'm very excited. Tim, what about you? You got anything you wanna plug? Uh I am always here on CH Pleasure Brews. Uh, if you would like to contribute to the cause, you can go to patreon.com backslash CDH underscore budget underscore Bruce. Give us a buck. Uh, obviously, if you're listening to this, you're probably seeing us on YouTube. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe and smash the thumb bell, as everybody likes to say. Uh, I'm a lot of places. I'm around. Twitch. Uh, you're on Twitch. It's timmy 1000 Boudet Bruce. Uh, I got eight more. I love to it, fix that. dude. Uh. It's perfect. It's, it's all the better because you didn't intend to do it. But I'm like, oh yeah, that's how I know it's Timmy, not some faker. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy one thousand underscore boudet brews. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, like, oh. Uh, there's oh, no way that's so a Timmy perfect. impersonator. <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, like. They they lock you in for like thirty days. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Once you change the name, you can't do it for like yeah. another thirty, forty five days. Yeah, something like, like that. A, like Never change. It's so perfect. Or when you do change it, leave another. You leave a what out? You cut out. You cut another it. letter. Leave a different oh, letter out. Probably yes. will on accident. It won't be intentional. That's the part. <laughs> Timmy T one thousand budge bruise. But it'd be like two one hundred or some shit, like you know, perfect. Like so, all right, guys. Well, it's been a pleasure as always. Thanks for coming out, and uh, everybody have a good night. Thanks for having us, Tim. Bye, everybody. <laughs>